if possible, solve the system. All right, so we have um, x minus 2y plus z equals 1, 2x minus 5y plus 3z equals 4, and 2x minus 3y plus z is equal to 0. So I'm going to use an augmented matrix and row operations to solve the system. All right, so the first thing that I would do is write the augmented matrix. So I'd have 1, negative 2, 1, 1, 2, negative 5, 3, 4, 2, negative 3, 1, 0. All right, so I notice that I have a 1 already in the diagonal. So now I'm going to focus on the elements below it and turn those into zeros. So I'll use the row operation, row 2 plus negative 2 times row 1. That would give me a 0 in that element. And similarly, it would be row 3 plus negative 2, row 1. So that does not change the first row at all. All right, now for the second row, I'm going to take row 2 plus negative 2 times row 1 and use that to replace row 2. So I'll have a 0. Negative 5 plus negative 2 times negative 2 would be negative 1. 3 plus negative 2 times 1 would be 1. And 4 plus negative 2 times 1 would be 2. Now taking row 3 and adding negative 2 times row 1. Ne uh, 2 plus negative 2 times 1 is 0. Negative 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 1. And let's see, 1 plus negative 2 times 3. I'm sorry, 1 plus negative 2 times 1 would be negative 1. And 0 plus negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2. All right, so I've got the zeros now. Let me focus on the next diagonal element, which is a negative 1. So to make it a positive 1, I'm going to take row 2 and multiply it by negative 1. So that doesn't change the first row. Multiplying the second row by negative 1 would give me 0, 1, negative 1, negative 2. And the third row stays the same. All right, so now focusing on the element below the diagonal, let's, turn, let's transform that 1 to a 0. I'll take row 3 and add to it negative 1 times row 2. So first row, second row, stay the same. Third row, 0 plus negative 1 times 0 is 0. 1 plus negative 1 times 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus negative 1 times negative 1 is 0. And negative 2 plus negative 1 times negative 2 is also 0. All right, so this is one of those you know, situations we need to be aware of. When that third row ends up being all zeros, we have infinitely many solutions. All right, so what we generally do here is we let z be itself. And now we use back substitution to solve for y and x. So I know from the second row that x, not x, excuse me, I know from the second row that y minus z is negative 2. Adding z to both sides, y is negative 2 plus z. So we have a value for z. If z is itself, then y is negative 2 plus z. Now let's solve for x. We know that x minus 2y, well, y is negative 2 plus z, plus 1z is equal to 1. 
x plus 4 minus 2z plus z is 1. x plus 4 minus z is 1. Subtracting 4 and adding z, x is equal to negative 4, excuse me, negative 3 plus z. So, there are infinitely many solutions, but they all take the form negative 3 plus z, negative 2 plus z, z, where z is any real number.